Hello. Welcome to Guard Night. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Taurus Weekly Money and Career Reading from July 29th to August 4th, 2024. Taurus, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Taurus Weekly Money and Career July 29th to August 4th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you're all well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word. Yes, the magic word is back and we're back with the free reading. So for anyone just connecting with this channel, welcome, welcome. There is a free reading up for grabs if you're interested. All you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. Don't forget to be subscribed and the magic word will be at the end of the reading. All right, Taurus, let's see what's cracking. Let's see what's happening for this upcoming week. What energies do we have so far? Queen of Wands, Justice, the Moon, Two of Cups, Aries, Leo, Sag, there's a decision there. The right thing to do, bringing back stability, bringing back balance within a situation that you've been battling with someone. It's been going on for a little while. I feel like these energies, it's not the first time I'm reading them. Taurus, um, battle with this person, soul connection, partner, business partner, friend, family, life partner, whatever it is, to reach, to get those answers, to make that decision, to bring back balance within your business, your collaboration, your family, your friendship, whatever it is. Um, it feels like this person has been at the center of this energy and this combativeness is about ego and revealing what is happening, revealing your decision, your decision to let's see what you're going to do. It's the Ten of Wands is the end of a cycle, the end of a pressure on your shoulder, pressure on making a decision, or it doesn't really matter um, who's making the decision here. There's just something you have to settle the deal or set find a solution to the situation or settle the situation. It's like clear, clearing, clearing the air, clearing um, clean slate clean slate and that's what the justice is all about it's, it's just bringing back balance to an energy a choice a dynamic a conflict uh to be able to uh, reset and um it's the right thing to do it's the right choice it's the right decision to uh reveal your cards reveal your message reveal what you have to say or both of you i feel like it's two right the dynamic um confrontation but confrontation about being there sharing caring being there for each other queen of wands again aries leo sag uh it can be with an aries leo sag um uh, Taurus, but let's see where this is going. A partnership, a partner in ego, in business, in mm, there's a lot of ego there. There's a lot of ego, but at the, at the same time, there's a lot of generosity uh, financially. There's a uh, there's there's a sense of ego and a sense of caring at the same time. Both energies are there at the same time. Queen of Wands. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, we have the Sun. Beautiful. So. There is establishing a certain clarity on the situation, making a decision, but make, making a decision with understanding, understanding how, um, what both sides, right? Maybe compromising uh, or maybe going back to something 
you were doing before back to something that makes more sense to you. So even though you're freaked out a little bit, you're persevering with courage, you're moving forward, making that decision, making this happen, you're very dynamic in this. You're very dynamic in finding a solution. Um, and so maybe you're battling out uh, decisions in your business. Maybe you're battling out two different points of views, right? And points of view, uh, you're not thinking the same way. You're not the same entity. You're wanting to find balance within your business, within the dynamic, the conversations, when you have conversations. I feel like that you're coming back into something stable. You're coming back into something uh, more caring. Maybe you lost yourself along the way, and I'm not saying you personally, Taurus, but the whole dynamic um, in finding that warm generosity around you and wanting to helping other, help others. It's almost like you help them and so you expect them to help you now or you ha you expect you know a sense of community and generosity around you or you're fighting for that at least you're getting your answers you're finding your solutions and you're i think you're happy with where you stand there's a higher fint here which is for me uh, a leader someone you look up to or an establishment a structure uh, can be a spiritual leader, can be a leader, um, an intellectual leader, someone you look up to, someone you've worked with, or someone in, in your environment, friend, family, or someone you respect, right? The higher fint is also um, going back to, when I say going back, mm, deciding, deciding to do things in a conventional way right? Maybe you tried something different. Maybe you tried to um, um, have conversations or find solutions in a creative way, right? To get to this person or to figure things out. Whatever it is that you're trying to figure out, there is a justice there. So uh, there is a decision that's going to be made. There's an obligation there to move things around to, to, to find that you know, to, to go back to basics and to be able to find fairness for you. You want fair and you want honesty. And after that, you'll be able to deal with it. But you want fair ground. You want the person to tell the truth and you want honesty within these negotiations, conversations, resolutions, whatever it is. And I feel like to for that, for that to happen, for the resolution to happen, whether this is in your job, whether it's, this is with your coworkers or with your manager or within your business dynamic, whatever it is, whatever you're trying to create, it's you're going to find the solution going back to something very traditional, uh, seeking spiritual advisor, a spiritual advisor or uh, restructuring uh, in a way or communicating in a way or recreating something in a way that worked back in the day, that worked in the beginning. So coming back to sources, coming back to something that makes sense to you, that has worked in the past and that has proved to be positive and positive in your life or positive in resolutions and way of communicating with people, really going back to something that has always worked for you. Instead of being ultra creative and thinking out of the box to find a solution, you're actually going back to something very structured and very traditional. Whether it's with a person helping you or the person you're communicating with, you're, you're back to basics interesting but it's working here right the happiness the joy um the vibes are different uh reconnecting with that person uh, and reconnecting with that person in a very wise way interesting so it's almost like you're finding 
the miracle solution, the magical solution, Taurus. And the magical solution is probably not what you thought it was going to be to connect with that person, to figure things out, to find a balance again, or make a decision to unblock a situation that certainly has been very complicated. And I feel like your magic touch is actually something very, very traditional and very something you did in the beginning something that worked for you all the way hmm interesting all right let's see let me change decks and uh see if we can uh pull a few cards on this hierophant oh well, i want to pull the card on the sun first why is the sun here yeah, because you were stuck. But you're finding a solution. One more card in the sun, please. I almost feel like this one belongs to the higher fence. Sorry about that. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here for Taurus? Yes, eight of... Yeah, moving forward. There's connections. There's action forward. There's messages. A lot of back and forth. Maybe you're traveling. Maybe there's a lot of communication. You're open to commun... Yeah, there you go. Look at that. There you go. Your happiness is money. Happiness is money. This person is probably making money or there's an offer. There's an offer for a financial opportunity or there's money coming in and that is making you happy. And it's not the first time, Taurus, that we've been in these energies of this conflict with this person, with this partner or... A family member or a friend or, a, you know, a, it's more than a co-worker. It's, you know, can be your partner, can be your your business partner, or can be your, your life partner it, or a soul connection, right? This is, you're happy when there's money and you're happy when they make money and you're happy when there's a, there's a big offer there. There's finances coming in and that is making you happy. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm moving this over here, and now I'm going to um, try to um, pull on the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here? What's the solution? What is this higher ground of understanding? Sagittarius, fun, lighter, lighter energy. You want lighter energy. Okay. Oh, Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, well let's, sorry. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Fun, friends, and um, a magic, you know, more inspiration. I feel like, okay, so this is a partnership or a dynamic with a person that's been complicated and you've been trying to find solutions, solutions to communicate, to balance things out, to try to understand, to try to um, get out of the ego dynamic that was not comp was complicated or is complicated and you have the moon which is you know indecisive not finding the solution not finding the answers waiting for answers and waiting for this decision to come back but at the same time there's a certain there's a sense of community generosity around you and sense of uh really um caring so yes there's money involved and yes the dynamic is much better and when there's money and you are happy when there's money but it's not only that there's a real sense of community around you and I feel like this um hierophant here is a person around you or you understanding because that's what the hierophant is all also about it's about understanding what it is that's most important to you and understanding also that the solutions the wisdom the energies coming forth from an entity right from a source of a spiritual source or a guide or a leader or from yourself is about inspiration friends happiness celebrating 
And I feel like with this Hierophant, whoever it is in your life, right? It can be anybody, but it's someone important for you. Um, they're bringing back or they're helping you bring back a sense of joy and dynamic joy in your friends and dynamic and fun, a sense of fun in your life. So yes, the money is important and that makes you happy. It gives you a sense of abundance, but the most important in your mind and your wisdom is fun and happiness and inspiration again. In other words, maybe you want this person to be inspired again, or maybe you're celebrating that this person is inspired again and that they, they're they finding excitement in life again. Because we have the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands, again, Aries, Leo, Sag, Major Sag, here with the um with the um the knight of wands doesn't have to be um one more okay oh let's see if there are more cards that want to come out your your inspiration is back finances are coming in that's making you happy um two of two of cups who's this two of cups or the justice the justice well we know you're making a decision or there's a, a shift in energy here. It's the right thing, right? It's bringing back balance. All right, one card on the justice. I feel like that's what I have to do. Yeah, but there we go, right? It's like you're, you're seeing things in a different way. And that's what's changing everything. In other words, your perspective has changed. And I think that your perspective is changing with the Hierophant, whoever that is, whether it's an entity or a guide or, you know, a leader of some sort or someone important in your realm, you know, that you connect with, that's helping you. And um, your perspective is different. And maybe all the energy you put in in finding a solution and finding a resolution or clarifying the situation or finding a new dynamic was not the right way to go. And you're finding creative ideas, new ideas to connect with this person or figure things out. And all the way, maybe the basic thing was just to come together in a very simple way. Whatever that means for you. Conventional way. Something that you did before. Something that proved, right? That was, that proved, that worked right, that worked back in the day, or that worked in the beginning that you partnered up in your your business, or that you partnered up in life, whatever it is. And this is you understanding to take a step back and to view, not just from your point of view, not just from what you resent or understand or think is the right thing to do because that's what you've always done, but really putting your, putting your, having a different point of view, putting yourself in other person, in the other person's shoes, instead of wanting to transform that person and making them understand that, you know, you have the knowledge and that you, you know, you're trying to help them and you think that, you know, you know what to do. If that, if that makes sense. Anyway, Whatever whatever this new perspective is, is the right perspective and is changing the whole dynamic, giving back inspiration, celebrating. Money is there. So this is something, this is a turning point in this resolution, a turning point bringing back the sun you're going from the moon to the sun from the five of swords to the three of cups from the hangman to the ace of ace of pentacles so yes this is something a turning point in your decision in the resolution of this Thing, whatever it is comment down below um, 
that has been going on for a while, I feel. All right. And, and you have, you believe again. You believe again with the magician. You believe in the spark again. The spark is there again. The inspiration again. Um, you're, you're there. You're there for them. And you're there for their spark and their inspiration as well. It's really, really a beautiful turnaround. Ten of Swords. All right. Let's see. What else we have? Too many cards. Yes, Ten of Swords, because it has been difficult. It's the end of the road here. But you're, you're that turning point. It, you have the answer, and you have been... Let, let's, let's see what the other cards say. One last message for the road. Yeah, you've been hurt. And this has been something that you've been trying to figure out for a while. One last message for the road for Taurus. Yes, three of three of cups. Okay. So here you are, Taurus, finding your solutions step by step, step by step. You will, I feel like you, yes, you've been frustrated. Yes, you, because the thing is, with this Four of Cups, it's the disappointment. Well, it's not even disappointment. It's like the disconnect because it's not enough. It's not what you thought. It's not enough money. It's not what you wanted, whatever it is. The offer is not enough. The person's not doing enough. They're not holding their ground or they're not holding their weight. They're not bringing what they're supposed to bring to the table. But it's it's the insufficiency that you've been feeling for a long time. What they're doing is not enough or it's not enough for you. It's not what you want or it's not what you expected. But I, that's what the interesting thing is. Yes, it's the end of that. It's the end of this disappointment, this constant... Um, dissatisfaction in feeling that they're not holding their weight, whatever this thing is, whatever it is, whether it's a person, your job, your your family dynamic, whatever. Um, and here, there's a sort of celebration in reaching a solution, in reaching a new tempo, a new point of view, a new way of communication, and a new understanding of what is important and what could help bring back stability hence the justice card right that is what is bringing back balance that is what has to bring back balance and no matter what it is it's fair it's fair to you it's for you to find your balance and it is fair it is to your advantage and fair for you. Whatever it is you want, you're getting. Whatever it is that has to change, will change. Whatever it is that you thought was not fair to you, it's going to bring back balance. The truth, the fairness, the honesty, and the financial balance, which I feel is very, very important here. And you're understanding that you're going to build this in a slower way. You're going to take your time. Take your time to reconnect. Take your time to appreciate and resonate with the right energy so you can reconnect and rebuild on a, on a healthier basis. Yes, things move around and yes, things get mucky and complicated, but we can find solutions when we think back on things that have worked before. And, but most of all, when we think back on what is most important for us what is what are our priorities what is this person about what is this dynamic about is it important for me and do i want to find uh solutions to make things better or am i done and am i throwing in the towel but i don't think the towel is thrown i really think that you're reaching a you have two times the three of cups so you're celebrating you're celebrating a new inspiration and you have the sun, there's money, there's finances coming in, stabilizing, giving you happiness. Uh, and, um, and then it feels like you're with the temperance. Now you're taking your time to grow again in this new dynamic, in this warm new inspiration. 
Wow, Fan fascinating reading, Taurus. Um, for whoever I'm reading, I hope you connected. Comment down below. Let me know if this is something you connect with, um, Taurus. I want to say that the magic word here is inspiration. You are very inspired and um, it's a turning point in your life, I feel. Um, Taurus, so thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one connecting with this channel, sharing your energy, sharing your emotions. Thank you, Taurus. From the bottom of my heart, gratitude to everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.